What is up guys? Back with a new video today. We are doing an update on the 67 GMC. This isn't my truck, this is my dad's truck he's been working on uh, for years now. I'm sure you've seen a couple of the updates here and there, but I figured it's been long overdue. Lots has, uh, a lot has been bought, I should say. Um, not a ton of work, but he's getting more towards the work side. Uh, but a lot of stuff that he has bought, I think you guys should check it out, see what everything's going on, and we can actually get a little more further on how everything's gonna be looking. Uh, as well as, I'm not sure if you guys can see, but we are filming with a GoPro Hero 8. Uh, I'm sure as a lot of you knew, uh, my old camera, I have a Nikon D5300, and I, with welding uh, sparks and, with welding, with filming sparks and welding, uh, I think I'm pretty much fried the sensors. Now, I'm not counting that camera out. I'll still probably use it because I'm not sure how well this is going to film uh, actually working on stuff since it's such a wide angle. We're having it on linear mode, which is supposed to be not as wide, so we'll see how this looks. This is 4K. I'm going to try to upload at 4K. Uh, I'm not going to promise 4K for everything else because if I end up using the Nikon, it'll only be 1080. But we're going to see how this works just for this video and doing some other, we could do rollers and other fun stuff with this. So I figured if I don't use it as my main camera, it will be a good accessory camera to do, you know, other stuff, you know, rollers, more action related stuff. That's what the GoPro is intended. Uh, I had the original GoPro, not even the GoPro Hero, uh, way back in the day. And it was honestly a piece of shit, but obviously GoPro has came a long ways. So we are going to try to rock this guy, rock this GoPro. Uh, anyways, dad doesn't want to be on camera. I'm sure he's going to be watching this YouTube video. So doing it for you. We're going to do a walk around on how everything's looking and what parts he has bought and a little more future look. So hopefully you enjoy the walk around. All right. So if you guys are new to the channel, you've never seen this truck. Uh, it's, it doesn't look like much right now, but this is a 1967 GMC C15. Honestly, it's the same as the C10. It's just, you know, GMC's version. So all the body lines, everything you, all the accessory parts you can pretty much get are the same. Uh, the thing that makes, you know, obviously the 67 unique is the small back window. If you guys didn't know, the, I'm pretty sure just the 67 came with the small back window. I could be wrong on that one, but dad wants to keep it because it keeps the truck unique and I totally agree. Uh, as long as, with the earlier years of the C10s from, I believe, 67, 68, maybe 69, uh, had the sloped front nose. So the later years of the C10 have a more abrupt nose that's more squared. This one's got a little more roll off to it, which looks definitely more appealing, stylish. But anyways, what's been done is gutters, he is shaving the gutters and plans to get someone to let him up after that. Probably get rid of the roof seam. He shaved the gas door from the factory gas tank in the cab. Moving out to the firewall, he started shaving the firewall. Got these big fillers here that he's been welding in. We'll probably be offering this plate here soon, as well as this one, and possibly this one too as well. So if you guys are interested, check back on the website. We may be adding those. Um, other than that, the cab, front drip rail too. He had a quarter inch round bar. Going back here on some saw horses, he's actually got a brand new bed and wheel tubs. And for wheel tubs, he ended up going with I forgot which company sells these wheel toes, but they're extra wide for the big wheels. Brand new front fenders. Uh, I do not recall the brand of the bed or fenders. So uh, if you ask me later on, I can answer down in the comments on uh, what the specific brands are for everything. Uh, the front fenders aren't perfect, but with a lot of aftermarket parts, you can't really expect perfect. Uh, he's got a mod shop. Metalworks rear roll pan. 
and on to more of you know actually looking like a truck so here's the outer bed skin uh he bought a whole bed kit it's a short bed kit uh that's one thing to mention as well is the frame the truck used to be a long bed so at one point when he first got the truck he cut the center section down uh some odd inches and then cut the rear of the frame some odd inches now since the last time you saw this he decided he wanted to cut off the rear frame rails and do a back half now we're not sure if he's going to keep this but for right now he's just doing a kind of like a z style frame where it comes up and then just goes straight all the way back everything's just sitting nothing's welded or anything at this point but he's got an abs four link he upgraded to big old johnny joints which is a rebuild rebuildable bushing kind of like a heim but rebuildable He's got a Kiri rear end with 35 spline axles. The third member is still sitting in the box. It is a wave track rear end. Uh, the rear end is supposedly supposed to handle up to 1500 horsepower, I believe. Could be off a couple horsepower. Uh, we got a Boyd fuel cell in the back with, I believe it already has a high pressure um, fuel pump inside the tank. And I think the biggest thing you probably might have already told, seen is the wheels. He finally got a set of wheels. Uh, these are US mags, they're billet wheels. These are the Cartel 5. I'll get the exact number here in a second. Uh, the rears are a deep dish 20 by 12s with a 4.5 backspace. He's running the standard Chevy lug pattern of five and four and three quarters. Got 345, 30, 20 tires. They're the Michelin Pilots Sports. Here we can see how wide they are. That way you can kind of, hard to tell in video, but these things are wide. There's my hand up to it. Big old. Definitely, obviously, you could tell he could have gone wider, but uh, just to find the tires to fit, these were uh, definitely hard and very expensive. In the front, he is running 20 by 8.5 US Mag Cartel 5s with a 4.25 inch backspace and a 255 40 20 Michelin Pilot. He may go down tire size in the front in order to get the, the low he needs as well as being able to get the proper turning radius. So those may end up changing out. We will have to see. He's running wheelwood brakes front and back, uh, 12 inch in the rear, 12 inch in the front, all four piston calipers. Let's see if we can get up in there. We got a Scott's hot rod drop member it's a six inch drop member but he added the two inch coil i mean the two inch drop spindles so it should be an eight inch drop and then obviously the coil is a coil over so you can adjust to your, your ride height just a slight bit with the rack and pinion and all that fun stuff uh, i did end up convincing him to do a one inch body drop you can kind of see where he's brought it down and he's uh smoothed it in so the truck's gonna have a one inch body drop static uh and all the other parts he's got are in the garage but he's got obviously new bumper he's got a new core support somewhere he bought new grill steering wheel cpp steering column I'm trying to think of everything else he's bought. A lot of uh, little more smaller parts that I can't recall at this time. But he's definitely got most of the roller parts. Um, the biggest thing he needs to get to now is the motor and trans. He's looking for some sort of big block. Not exactly sure, depending on budget. Obviously, the big block he really wants is really spendy so you know time and money will tell but the 
Scott's hot rod is set up for a big block for the motor mounts. All right, so the, the actual wheel model is the Cartel 5 U410, if, you, if you're curious. We just got the cab off so he can uh, continue sheet metal work on the cab. And uh, hopefully here soon he'll be getting to the frame and actually getting it to a roller. Because like I said, the whole back half isn't even welded yet. It's just uh, clamped together at the moment. All right, guys, that's going to wrap up today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Now, I'm not going to be doing selfie videos like this all the time. This is just since we're here and I just have this. The Nikon's at the, sh the other shop. So uh, tell me what you think of the camera. Hope you liked the update. Hopefully we can get some more updates on it and actually eventually get a finished truck. Uh, one other thing to note is we did, I'm pretty sure I got the brakes dialed in on bagged on 20s. So with that said, I'm back onto the bed, gonna get that bed finished and we're gonna get that truck rolling. So stay tuned in for that. So there may not be, I know there wasn't a, a Fab Friday this last Friday. We'll see if there'll be another one, one this Friday, but uh, now that I'm kind of more in a roll, I want to get the truck finished. I think that's way more priority if you ask me. So thank you guys for watching as always. Don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, and share. And uh, we'll see you on the next one. Keep on trucking. Peace.